Hey, Virgo. Happy Thursday. I'm doing same day readings today. I'm working from home, so I have some space to work on some personal readings for you all today, at least until seven o'clock Central Standard Time tonight. Okay. Here, what messages do you have for Virgo today? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nikki. Nine of Swords. Okay, already something's keeping you up. When something's keeping you up. You have uh, maybe worried about something. Maybe you're just having dreams that's keeping you up. Or it's a whole bunch of cattywampus dreams that don't make any sense. We got the star. Followed by the moon. So you don't know what, what to think, okay? Maybe you don't know what to do at this point uh, in time in your life, life Virgo. Um, you're kind of like weighing the the odds, you know, um, but you don't really know what to do. Maybe you don't, want, don't know what to think, um, what direction you're headed in. Um, something doesn't make sense to you, okay? And you are trying to figure out what can I do? Why doesn't, you know, why doesn't this make sense? Why can't things be a certain way? Okay. It's like, or is it going to be light at the end of the tunnel when I get there? Okay. It's like, are you going to see the light on your situation sometime soon? Is your, it's like you're worried so much that you're literally putting the cart before the horse because you really don't know what tomorrow looks like. You don't know what an hour is going to bring you. So it's it's like you're kind of stuck and and worry some. It's like you're stuck in worrisome ways and you don't know how to get out of it because you just don't know. got the eight of wands that's communication here okay talking you know like fast 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 move 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 maybe you have to move maybe you have to make some fast decisions at this point in time in your life six of swords maybe it's time for you to relocate uh, i'm going in that direction no you should go in that direction the opposite direction Virgo. but you are wanting to go one way but somebody else wants you to go another and you don't know what exactly it's like you're being pulled and nudged in a certain direction but somebody else is telling you different. It's like, am I listening to my my thoughts, my own thoughts, or am I allowing my thoughts to be influenced by somebody else? So you don't know what to do. Three of Cups, other people, other situations. You know, we got some third party energy here, Virgo. Can you trust these people? Especially one person in particular. Can you trust what these people say? Uh, can you trust the advice that you have been given? We got the four of wands. This could be a party. This could be some sort of celebration for a family member, a mother. Or matriarch or something in your family. Maybe you're celebrating a birthday for her or um, maybe something, a pivotal moment in this person's life. It could be a, it could be a party, a retirement party. Um, I was hearing a song, but it just went out of my head. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. So you don't know what to do. Or you could be the one to sell wanting to, to um prepare a party for somebody, help you know, maybe you're the person who has been uh called on to prepare for a party to do some for some sort of celebration for somebody you really care about, you really love, or whatever. But usually when this happens, people you intend you tend to do much more than you should because people take advantage of you. Um they take your kindness for your weakness, Virgo, and that's always the case. But this, these people are looking for you, even if, if you live away or this person lives a distance, maybe they want you to pay for this person's way to get home to the celebration, to the party or some sort of gathering. OK. Talking about bringing someone home here, this relative here. 
maybe even pulling this person out of a nursing home to bring them home to be with you in the family or whatever. But you're worried about this. You're probably worried, like, how can I get this person home? I don't want her or him in that nursing home anymore. How can I get this person away from there? And you're up at night trying to think of different strategies. How can you do this? Okay. But, but you feel so alone doing it, though. Okay. But it's like I'm trying to figure out who can I call? Can I call somebody? Can I get them closer to the home or uh, move in with me? If they move in with me, what are the financial strategies that I have to follow? Um, what do I have to do with their their retirement funds or Social Security or disability benefits or nurses? It's like so many different things that you have to do to make this person more comfortable living with you. Finding that the only you feel that the only way this person's going to be okay is if them bring, if you bring them home with you, okay? Because so you won't have to worry so much. It's a it's a worry because you don't know what else to do. And we have here maybe you're fighting with some siblings or some family members. Well, you know you're not taking care of her. She's an RP. It's not being provided well there. So I'm going to bring her to where I'm at. But but that person, that elder who you're worried about, are, they're still getting, uh, they're still being cared for by spirit. Spirit is still watching over that person who is elderly or disabled. You know, however that resonates with you, that person is still getting watched over. And spirit sees everything. If if you have family members that's doing somebody wrong in your family, they're not going to get away with it. You better believe it. Mm -mm. Don't fuck with kids and don't fuck with the elderly. Okay, that's a no no. Or the disabled. Mm -mm. Nope. So if they're doing something, don't trip. Don't even work. They're gonna get dealt with. You got the strength card. Because you all you want is to protect that person by any means necessary. You're wanting to fight their battles. You want to take care of them. You want to make sure that they are, their finances are intact the way they should be, minus what needs to be paid out for their medical expenses and housing expenses and stuff like that, okay? It's like you coming to fight this person's battles. Like, come on, okay? I'm coming to get your mom. I'm coming to get your granddaddy, grandma, whoever this is, and you going with me. You going with me? It's just that simple. Pack your shit if you can't do it. I, if you can't, um, don't have the strength to pack it. I'll pack it when I get there. And we, you leave it with me. Case closed. Okay. Case closed. You're standing up for somebody who can no longer stand up for themselves. Okay. We have the three of wands. It's like you've you've seen so much. You've heard some stuff. Now you're wondering how can I get over there? How can I go? and fix this how can i go and get this person and bring this person with me okay because just like you're on the outside looking in though you know everything that's going on you need to reach that destination to get that person for that person's own safety and for for your own well-being for your own well-being so you won't have to go cut a bitch all right that's just Virgo, please the ten of pentacles you want that family in your household you want to take care of this family member. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. You want you 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 have a safe family. You can afford to take care. Of. You could or you could afford to help this family through their financial beings, um, through their financial means. Sorry for to that with their whatever they have that they're getting their monthly income. That's going to help them out. And that's going to allow you to help take care of this person, okay? Because you have your family and you have uh, things that's going on in your family, but that person has income. It's fixed income, and still you have you you have a way of helping this person. So it's going to help this person evolve. That's going to give you a way to help this person. It's like you all helping each other, each other for the same thing, taking care of her so her, her so you can clear the energy of what's going on around them. And you know that you need to. It's it's time for you to go get this person. Okay, this person needs your help. Um, this person they can't do for themselves. I'm hearing they can no longer do for themselves. They're all tied up in the family squabbles, and they don't have anything to do with it. It's just the people that are, that are around them that are they want to leave, but they feel that they can't leave because they can't. They can't physically get up and move on their own uh, or relocate to a different place on their own. So they need help here. Okay. This could also. Virgo be some past energy as well. And this situation is possibly already blown over in your life. We got the chariot, okay? Chariot. 
this is you saying I'm going, I'm coming to, I'm, I'm, I'm just call me victory for today. Cause I'm going to get this person. You know, we got the chariot here and it's like waiting. They're waiting for some help. How can I do better? The spirit is with this person and taking care of this person's best interest. And this person's just looking for a way out, though they may not understand it. They, they may not know. They know that the place that they're in currently, they don't want to be because of all the conflict and negativity here. But you're this person's ace of cups. You're this person's ace of cups. Okay. And you know this. So you need to find a way to figure out how you can go get this person, how you can take care of this person more better, but you can't do it from afar. There's only so much a phone call can do. OK, um, but now you realize that I need to find something. I need to find a way because I've heard this. I've heard that. I'm doing my own research, trying to figure out how to get the, the best health care for this person, because uh, you know that this per person deserves to live their twilight years happy. OK, and I have to worry about a bunch of negative conflict or any kind of negative family squabbles that they don't have anything to do what, to, to do about. OK, so you got to figure out a way to help this person, Virgo, and I think you will. You're going to pick this person up and take them with you. OK, you really are. Eight of Cups. That's what I'm looking for. The eight of Cups. That's saying, OK, we've done everything we, we needed to do. Now it's time for me to go get this person and I'm going to bring them home with me. OK, I'm going to bring this person home with me so they can be safe. I'm going to pull a crystal card for the journey to go get this person. Virgo. What's your crystal card? Virgo. We got two. We have the carnelian. Creativity flows through me in, in a myriad ways, in myriad ways, in a myriad of ways. I courageously bring my ideas, ideas into actuality. Activate the creative mind, finalize projects, realize unlimited potential, improve visualization skills, stimulate the courage to fulfill life purpose and potential. At this point in time, your life purpose is is gathered around you taking care of somebody who can't take care of themselves. And two, I, I really do think that that this person is self sufficient in their own why, on, on, in their own way, in their own right. But they just need you to help them get them out of a situation they are currently in, whether they're living with relatives or in a fucked up nursing facility. They just need that. They just need a little push, a nudge, um, like for you to save them, and then they're pretty much self sufficient. Okay, we have here the leopard skin jasper. I observe my surroundings and I know I am divinely guided. So you're you observing, you are observing the surroundings of the person that you love and care about, this elderly person. You know that something's not right. Okay. And to improve peripheral awareness, become the objective observer, increase consciousness and reactions to others, increase mental, physical, and emotional flexibility. So this person needs you. Okay, we have a carnelian and the leopard skin jasper to pick them up. Okay, to take to to take them to where they need to be. Give me a final card here for Virgo with your person. We have enjoy. Maybe they need to enjoy life more, and maybe they're not enjoying life for the the current situation they're in or the current location that they're in. And we have her skin, skin issues. Maybe they have some skin issues, some rashes. Oh my gosh, maybe they're having some rashes, maybe they're having some bed sores or whatever. Um, whatever. Did I say rash, rash or something? Because they're elderly, something like that. But definitely something that needs to be taken care of. And they need to be where you are for a new start, a new home, a new life. All right. I hope this message resonates with you, Virgo. I know it probably will resonate with a select few. Talk to you later.